All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Payvam is here, and today I am I am going to be having a discussion video, and that is regarding uh, regarding uh, Game Freak's new uh, teaser trailer of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And I'm here with some special guests, and they are and Deagle Rands. All right, so our discussion video today is mainly going to be our thoughts on the trailer itself and what we are going to be expecting from the game. So uh, I'll start off. So the trailer starts off with a very realistic approach to what is normally a very cartoonish type of game. Now, as you see here, uh, from the first few minutes, I mean, uh, don't mind me. I'm just playing some Minecraft while I'm just talking over. But um, what usually happened was that Pokemon uh, uh, from the real fans that know it's mainly a uh, you know like uh, I don't want to say cart. Well, it is a cartoonish like I mentioned before, but it is also a very uh, pixelated game. You know what I'm saying with the graphic capabilities. So this was, in my opinion, a, a different approach to what they usually do. What do you think about that, Mr. EI? Yes, that is correct. Uh, later on in the trailer, if you guys have, haven't seen it, I recommend bef uh, just go like quit quit this video real quick and go watch it and then come back to it. But it really does have a lot of similarities to Pokemon Go, especially the capturing of the Pokemon, which am I a fan of, to be honest? Maybe, because here's the thing about me, ever since the 3DS came out, there Pokemon's always been a change. There wasn't like there wasn't anything that was similar it's it's become it's became it became my bad it became really simple and like yeah pretty much the game became more for kids rather than uh true pokemon fans but uh i you know what i want to hear what deagle rants thinks deagle rants what's your approach on this all right so looking at the game overall um Mystery I was right, the it is it can connect to Pokemon Go and it just looked like a much more advanced version of Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. But there were other mechanics from the previous games that I did actually enjoy enjoy and if I'm not mistaken, can you like can you explain to me what region is this supposed to be taking place in? All like, right, this so, is only showing all like right. certain Pokemon. Yes, yes. Like, it's not all showing right. all of them. Yeah, now that's a great point. Supposedly well actually it is true, but um, maybe there's the game's gonna continue on further, but as of right now, it seems like a Kanto remake with Pokemon Go elements. So pr pretty much Pokemon Go advanced. Let's call it that. That's that's actually what I would actually call it as well. A Pokemon Go advance coming out on the Switch. Now this looks like a perfect, a really perfect game for the Switch to come out on. It also puts like more use to Pokemon Go since like I guess the game itself was somewhat starting to lose attraction to but overall the game the game does look uh really nice i do like the graphic design is like a improved from like its 3d model from like on the 3ds i remember yeah. i think like sun and moon had it as well yeah so uh my opinion on the graphics is as ei and the deagle rants mentioned it does look good but I, as for me because i i've played every single pokemon game it you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the 3DS version, but a lot more crisp. And uh, and I've kind of noticed this. I know Deagle Rants and EI uh, might have seen this before too, but it kind of reminds me of Super Smash Bros. in a way. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but in Super Smash Bros. 3DS, it was like, you know, somewhat pixelated, but it had good graphics. But on the Wii U and uh, soon to come <clears throat> Nintendo Switch, um, it was pretty much crisp full 60 frames and it ran perfectly great so this kind of brings some similarities but one thing okay here's here's the thing the thing that i didn't really like 
And now you guys may disagree with me on this, but I really didn't like the Pokemon Go aspect of it. I mean, it's cool how you could connect to it. I really like that because it reminds me of the Pokewalker and back with, back of those uh, capabilities. But the thing that I really didn't like was how the catching. I mean, it, it reminded me too much of Pokemon Go. Now, for me, as everyone was uh, like really excited of, over Pokemon Go, me, I kind of thought it died after the first week. I thought it kind of got ruined over the overhype. Because, uh, quite frankly, I overhyped it, but whenever it came out and first week, you know, no one was playing, but I was, I didn't really like it, and, yeah. But I did, I really did like how in in the other games, you you were not able to play local two-player, like, actually like that. Now, um, I want I want to know your opinion uh, for both EI and uh, Deagle Rants. What do you guys think of the two-player thing? Do you think it makes the game a bit easier, or do you think it makes the game more enjoyable? What do you guys think, starting with EI? Uh, yeah, well, actually, uh, two two games came out and that came out, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, th that is true, because um, here's the thing that people don't really think about, and this is what I like about EI. He, he thought in a, a like realistic type of term. Pokemon games are usually like uh, story-driven, but for some reason, this one, the way how they showed it, it didn't really seem like ad story. It didn't seem like it was a type of arcade-ish type of game where all you do is catch. There wasn't really a sense of story to it, because if you really look at it, all, all they showed you was catching the Pokemon, and they showed the accessory of the Pokeball, which, honestly, for me, I don't want to just catch Pokemon. I actually want a good story especially after Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon I don't want to put them on blast or anything but I thought that was, that was more of a DLC not I don't really think that was worth the $40 so I really don't think that this was a really good way of introducing it now in my opinion I think what they should have done and hopefully Deagle Rance could agree with me on this I think they should have just remastered Diamond and Pearl what do you think like a full-on remastered a remaster does sound really good but I actually do have like a uh, some things to say about this game as well, and also it's like add on to what Mr. EI said. All right, well, continue. All right, so for one thing, you are right. The story Pokemon has always been like good with every its stories that come out for its games. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing you did say, this game having absolutely no story or anything, just being like a free for all, like just being online. I am, I don't know, hopefully I'm not offending anyone by saying this, but like, looking at it now from what you said, I just imagine this as like a Pokemon version of Overwatch, basically. Just hmm. being free-for-all, online, fighting, capturing Pokemon, and just like, fighting with your friends. Yeah. Second thing, that, in the trailer, they do bring that thing, the Pokeball, like you could actually like transfer your... Pokemon to like this little ball, this mm -hmm. actual little Pokeball you hold, and take it for a stroll. That I, I I legitimately cannot see a single point to that whatsoever. I don't yeah. see how that's supposed to be good. I bear, I, I don't even think that's gonna even sell good at all, or even sell at all. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, feel like that's. I feel like it's kind of like the Amiibo thing for like Super Smash Bros. Like people like the Amiibo just for like, mm -hmm. uh, just as a collector's item, not for like a, yeah. actually using it in the actual game like yeah, i feel like it's just gonna be that you have the pokeball and that's it mm -hmm. lastly and uh mr favela hopefully you could answer this for me w why two different titles like is this supposed to be like black and white like pokemon uh -huh. go pikachu pokemon go eevee that's is that a... supposed to be like black and white sun and moon diamond pearl what is that supposed to okay, be okay 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 now here I'll, I'll answer that question but to continue on what you were saying is that um I, I do I do agree with what you're saying on um, 
could could you elaborate on what you were saying again? Uh, just to clarify my mind. Sorry about that. On on which one? On which one? Uh, prior to prior to your question, uh, you said something. I, I just randomly I just randomly forgot about it. <laughs> just sort of, <laughs> could you real quick just uh, the, fill the me Pokeball? in? Okay, yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Alright, so this is what I want to say. It does remind me of the Pokewalker, which I do like, but at the same time, if you're gonna do that, then... I mean, there's already Pokemon Go. In the in the trailer, they did show how you could bring that Dratini. That's pretty much what the Pokewalker does. I mean, Pokewalker, aka Pokemon Go, already does. So I think that Pokeball is kind of useless. Or at least, like, you know, it's like, it doesn't really have a purpose to it. I mean... To be honest, it's kind of like Pokemon Go and that watch that they had. It was like 40 bucks and all it did was an increased range or whatever. Honestly, I do agree with you on that. And the title. I do have a huge complaint to the title. What the heck is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? It should just be Pokemon Let's Go Kanto. Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's... I mean... It pisses me okay, off. The Pikachu thing, I can understand. Pikachu, he's he's the iconic. He's like yeah. the mascot. He's the poster no, child. No, no, no. Not even but that. Eevee? Like, like, yeah. Why, why Eevee? Like, yeah. Where did Eevee come from? No, no. I understand the Eevee. I know. Like, I don't know. It kind of pisses me off because usually, I mean, Pikachu, yeah, you know, Pokemon Yellow, that kind of brings back memories. And especially that they never made a remake of that. So if they did it on this, th that would make sense. But Eevee kind of just ruins it. If you're going to do something like that, you might as well bring a legendary. You know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of just ruins the purpose. Like, what what do you think, EI, on that? Like, do you think it was kind of dumb on their part? Or what, what do you think? Sure. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one thing I would like to bring back is that a great, a really great way they could implement that two-player is... And now, I, I think I'm speaking on behalf of all Pokemon fans, especially Deagle Rant. They need to bring back Battle Frontier. If they bring back Battle Frontier with that two-player mode, I think, honestly, this would be hands down that one of the best. That would actually be really good. Yeah. That would be really on, especially good. after Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, they just ruined it. And the battle tree, uh, you know, it kind of died. But if they really do bring this back, I mean, you know, it's not too late. I mean, it is a teaser trailer. Maybe you could get the Eevee out of there and just go with the Pikachu. But honestly, that, that's just my opinion. Because, you know, ever since I was a kid, I, I was a Pokemon fan. So seeing how, you know, like, uh, for example, my cousin, and not to put him on blast, you know, I, like, I mean, he, he didn't like it ever since he was a kid. He liked it around 12 years old, you know, like, but... Like so, I mean, you know, he um, he he knows a lot about Pokemon, but he does like, like I, I feel like maybe he might disagree with me on this, but as a like a Pokemon fan from the very very beginning, you know, like I don't know, like maybe maybe I'm speaking towards the Pokemon fans here, or maybe you know everyone's like you're wrong, you know, but me personally, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they don't bring this uh, thing down, but. One thing, like I said before, they really need to make a Sinnoh remix and try not try staying away from this one. Game Freak, if you're listening to me, Nintendo, if you're listening to me, we want a Sinnoh remake, but just don't make it like this. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, one and uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys so much. If you guys have anything in the comments, I mean, if you guys have anything to say, please leave it down in the comments. I'd like to thank uh, EI Entertainment and uh, Deagle Rants for coming on. I'll leave the uh, I'll leave their links in the description below and like always Mr. EI would you like to say it? Have a great day. That's right. Am I right, Mr. EI? That's right. See you guys then.